Welcome to Hospitality and Catering. This is a vocational course that offers its student the chance to learn about all aspects of hospitality and catering industry, from B&Bs through to holiday resorts and beyond. Vocational means that the course is very similar to or closely related to the jobs themselves. In this case, chefs, waiters, hotel managers, receptionists and so on. Our main focus is to learn about the structure of the hospitality and catering industry and get lots of excellent hands-on experience. Pause the video here if you'd like to take a moment to read the statement of purpose issued by the examining board that offer this course. By completing the course successfully, students would attain WJEC Vocational Award Level 1 and 2, preparing them for the next step into further education, and beyond that, full-time employment in a highly rewarding career that can span the globe. So how does the course work? In years 7, 8 and 9, students attend food technology lessons, textiles, resistant materials and product design. In year 10 and 11, the level of study changes and food technology becomes hospitality and catering, a subject of its own, building on all of the experiences learned in lower school and preparing students for college. During the two years on the hospitality and catering course, students attend lessons in the food technology room for theory and practical lessons. There is a lot to learn because we're looking at a functioning section of UK industry, which is always changing and will surely evolve further, keeping pace with rapid changes in technology. Lessons are divided between theory and practical. Theory is all about getting up to speed on industry standards, industrial laws, worker rights, employment law, kitchen workflow, types of hospitality and catering establishments, and practical is about furthering of kitchen and cooking skills, using equipment and using information gained in the theory lessons to improve and progress as kitchen technicians. Cooking lessons have a much more focused and directed approach over the two years, with every dish created having been researched and designed. In year 11, as students approach exams, there is a piece of coursework within the practical exam designed to embody all of the learning and skills development on the course, giving students a chance to really show off their ability. The course Hospitality and Catering is broken down into two parts for marking. Firstly, there will be a theory exam. This will involve students entering the normal exam scenario to take part in a multiple choice exam. Best answers are selected from options and there are chances for students to add more in-depth knowledge to show off exactly what they have learned. This accounts for 40% of the overall mark and is based on the theory lessons attended during Year 10 and 11, with a revision period in Spring of Year 11. The practical portion of the exam accounts for 60% of the overall mark. It is similar to the theory in that it does have an examination which looks at kitchen equipment use and task skills and it's a timed exam in which students are expected to create four dishes of their own choice, working at the very highest of standards. The practical mark is also based on an important piece of coursework that underpins the kitchen and cookery activities. This is completed during theory lessons and researches, plans and designs everything that is to be cooked. In marking, we're looking for a close relationship between the planning and the final outcomes, as well as technical ability. Together, these two sets of marks make up the final grading mark for the exam outcome. It is important to emphasize that this course is an introduction to the structure of the workplace in general. There are students on this course now who know that they want to be electricians or builders. A future electrician can take as much about employment law from this course as a budding chef can. How? On this course we discuss income tax, minimum wage, employment law, worker rights. We also acknowledge the fact that hospitality and catering is undeniably centred on customer service and how best to attract and maintain a steady flow of paying customers. These principles and ideas apply directly to all service industries from childcare to mechanics. This course provides a useful qualification that leads directly to hospitality and catering level 3, which would take place at college and would see you go into the workplace afterwards, so useful alongside subjects like PE or chemistry if you have an interest in perhaps being a physiotherapist, a gym instructor or personal trainer, food technologist or biologist. It can be difficult for people to see beyond their experience and imagine what is on offer with a course like this. Hard work 
offers a starting point for a bright and productive future and if you wish to pursue this course here at Royds Hall, you will get all of the help you need.